What happens to homeowners if the housing market crashes? This is a valid and serious concern you have here, my friend. The short answer is nothing will happen to you as a homeowner if the housing market crashes. That is true in the event that you still have your job or your monthly income. That is true if you continue to stay living in your house. That is true, nothing will happen to you as a homeowner if you're able to afford your monthly mortgage payment. And that is if there's no life changes happening in your life during the housing market crash that can or will put you in a position that will require you to absolutely need or must sell your current house. As long as you continue living in your house and making the payments on your mortgage on time, a housing crash won't affect you as a homeowner at all. And at the same time, you will find yourself in a lot of trouble during the market crash if and when you need to sell your house. Let's say you've purchased the property and plan to renovate and flip it for a profit. The falling home prices may be a problem if it will eat into your profit margins or say you must relocate for a better job or financial opportunity and absolutely must sell your house. This might create an issue if home prices cooled off drastically to the extent the market value is now less than the principal mortgage balance owed to the bank. This would be a serious hardship and you will find yourself underwater. That's a term used in the lending industry describing that the value of the house is now less than the mortgage principal balance. This can very much put you in a foreclosure. If the mortgage balance cannot be satisfied with the sale of the house, of course, there are ways to avoid foreclosure, but it's a conversation we can have another time. By the way, if for some reason you are currently in foreclosure and you are avoiding foreclosure is something that you are going through right now, please reach out to me and I have a lot of resources. I can assist you with that. I can be more than happy to provide and guide you with all the information that I have and share it with you. So basically, as long as you don't sell the house during the housing market crash, and can continue to make the monthly mortgage payment, you are not going to be affected by the housing crash. Let's be honest, how are you affected as a homeowner in any kind of way when home prices go up? You're not. You only take on the losses or gains when you actually sell the property, isn't it so? Does this make sense? Comment below that I could see that we are on the same page here and then we can move ahead and I can tell you how to prepare for a housing market crash. And so how do we prepare for this housing market crash? First of all, we must understand and accept that when it comes to real estate, nothing is guaranteed. No one can exactly accurately predict when the crash will in fact happen. With so many moving pieces that playing a part here, it literally is a guessing game. Technically, you and I can take an intelligent guess factoring all the moving pieces and hit or miss. The only thing that we know about the very near future is that the Federal Reserve plans to continue to increase the rates, which is putting the brakes on rapid increase of home values. And that's a good thing. It's good in terms of the prices. And so as long as the supply of homes remain low, and they are low in our local housing market in Staten Island and in New Jersey, and buyers are willing and able to buy, and they are willing to buy for now at least, most experts are saying that there's little chance the crash will be of the same magnitude as the one we went through in 2008. So here are the five ways you can protect yourself during this housing market shift. One, don't get caught up in a bidding war. Don't pay more for the house than it is really worth. Two, buy what you can afford. Don't go for the big fancy house. Go for the house that works for you and your family in terms of size, location, commute, and schools. That is if you have children that will be home to school. Three, put as much of a down payment as you possibly can. The larger the down payment, the more equity you have in the house on the onset. Four, have or start a savings account for an emergency. You want to always have six months of living expenses in the emergency savings account just in case life happens unexpectedly and you want to be prepared for the unexpected. And the last one is for you if you currently already own a home. 
Stay put and wait for the dust to settle. There's very few reasons you will need to sell your house and buy a new house and borrow money with a much higher interest rate. If you can wait, just wait. The housing market has been in an upward cycle for a really long time now. As long as you know, the home prices can't go up forever and ever. Eventually, must come down, you will prepare yourself. Hopefully this conversation shed some light for you and put you at ease and I will be so grateful to see you subscribe to my channel and give this video a big like. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you on the next video.